made it the world famous Whammo, Pittsburgh's number one home for hip hop and R&B. Every day. Whammo. The three words that I would describe uh, Whammo for me personally is opportunity, growth, and fun. Portia Fox is um, considered a positive patty, I like to say that, but don't get it twisted because, you know, sometimes I'm not always as positive, you know, the saying, uh, try Jesus, don't try me, but you know, it's a nice process, but uh, I've been working in radio for five years this year, got started doing my own podcast and have my own online station, and just got recognized for my greatness. My journey to Whammo, it was a pretty much a two-year adventure. Um, at first, I started with a YouTube series, and I wouldn't even say this is like right before YouTube got really popping and hot. Hi, this is your girl Portia Fox, coming from Pittsburgh, representing my city all day. 412. Yes, I had to be ghetto and add the 412. Don't judge me, but I love my city. And um, I was talking about uh, magnums or not, like that was the topic of discussion. I'm a very big advocate for safe sex, and I just didn't feel like it was being talked about enough in a way that urban society would be able to appreciate it or just, you know, feel more involved in it, I guess. My target audience is everybody. Anybody who's sexually active, anybody who feels like they're not confident. So I uh, went to YouTube, did a couple of those, didn't feel really comfortable with talking about sex in front of the camera all like that like that you can see me blushing and stuff like that so I felt like I'm more of a behind-the-scenes person um, I was a guest on the chill radio in the beginning stages shout out to your local big homie and uh, I went home looked on the website of the station that I was just at on his show and they said if you want to have your own show hit up this number and I hit up the number it was DJ Solo Dolo and um, went down to Cena Studio and then within the next week I had my own podcast and then from there the rest is history honestly. The best experience that I've had at Whammo was developing a promotion with the promotions team uh, to go and take some hotties to go meet Megan Thee Stallion and I had the opportunity to interview Megan Thee Stallion who was the sweetest ever and uh, and, and had a great time uh, with that. So that was my, that's my favorite and fondest experience. I have a ton of experiences, but that is definitely uh, probably number one. Since being in radio, do I get noticed a lot more? Uh, yeah, and it wasn't supposed to be that way. That's why I kind of wanted to go to radio. I felt like I'd be safe. But um, it is a little funny to go out at a place and then people will just be staring at you over in a corner. And you might even see them say, like, I think that's Marshall And it's just like, hey, it's me. I'm very uh, low-key. I, I like my personal, and I, I'm, I'm a private person, but I am not, I'm a people person at the same time. So I, I appreciate all of it. Um, Sometimes it used to catch me off guard. And in the beginning, it kind of gave me anxiety just because it was just people I didn't know approaching me. And not that I didn't want them to, but it was just like, oh, our boundaries. But I just, I got used to it. And I just kind of embrace it now at this point because um, it's always somebody who comes up to me and they tell me that you know, my midday motivation um, spoke to them or I helped get them through a certain time. So I, I appreciate all of that. And it's time for your midday motivation. My favorite part of the day. And I was just scrolling out of my business and I came across a post from Tiffany Haddish. And uh, she said something real. She posted something real. It's, she said that the same people who hate on you will eventually mimic you because they studied you so hard looking for flaws. They got inspired without even knowing it. That's what happens when your light, when your light is so bright it shines on even the darkest spirits. And I was just like, you know what? Babble preach church and tabernacle because that is absolute truth so don't ever worry about who's hating on you just know that they loving on you deep down inside even if they're disgusted by the sight of you that you, that you inspired them know that that was your motivation right here since being on radio my image has uh i will say that it has made me kind of like more aware of the image that i do put out and that was something that i had issues with in the beginning just because i felt like I was for the people and then I had to be for me and it was kind of hard to kind of congeal the two together. I'm comfortable in my skin but I definitely did have moments of 
am I doing this right or am I selling what I'm am I giving what I need to give and I just kind of just stuck true to who I was and um I let the people decide that so um just that answer If I had a million dollars, I'm a very big person who is striving to give back more. So I would um, donate some money to the ASPCA, donate money to uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital, our children's hospital here in the city. Um, I would go on like a whole child literacy book tour. And also I would buy myself a very nice car and buy myself a nice little condo. And by that time I might have 75 bands left maybe and then um, I'll maybe just go ahead and invest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and uh, start a business so I would do several things for a million dollars you can find me on all social uh, media pages probably except for Facebook because I don't like Facebook um, but Instagram Twitter and TikTok at Portia underscore Fox that's with two X's I'm gonna spell it at P-O-R-T-I-A underscore F-O-double-X because y'all be butchering my name. It's not P-O-R-S-H-A. It's T-I-A. Just saying. And you can catch me every day, Monday through Friday on Wama 107.3, 10 to 3 p.m. And Saturday is 2 to 6 p.m. Because your girl be working. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's your little, like your little intake or something. Yeah. Like, give you a little. I'm more like. Behind the music VH1. Nice way, Chase. Our sweet Chase. I know, like I'm in a confessional of like uh, loving hip hop. Well, <laughs> they didn't know that I heard them talking shit about me. So therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and set them up, but they didn't know what's coming. I'm gonna invite them to breakfast right now. But you know what? It's gonna be a mimosa breakfast. You know what happens when mimosas is on the table? Uh -huh. Bitches get splashed. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs>